Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In physics, we'll discuss about displacement relation of progressive waves. For mathematical description of a traveling wave, we need a function of both position x and time t in x, y axis. Such a function at every instant hold give the shape of the wave at that instant. Also, at every every given location it should describe the motion of the constituents of the medium at the location. If we wish to describe a sinusoidal traveling wave such as the function given in the figure, the sinusoidal, for the sinusoidal wave, for convenience we shall take the wave to be transverse so that if the position of the constituents of the medium is denoted by x, the position is in terms of x and the displacement from the equilibrium position may be denoted by y. A sinusoidal traveling wave has been described as, suppose, for example, sinusoidal wave, look at here, way of x T y of the function of x and t is equal a sine of kx minus omega t plus phi. Now, if you consider this as a, as a function of sine and cos, the same as converted as y of x comma t is equal a sine of kx minus omega t plus b cos of kx minus omega t. That means it can be, the first equation can be expressed as in terms of sine and cos where a equal the relation is square root of a squared plus b squared and phi is this angle phi is equal tan inverse b by a look at this a displacement relation for a progressive harmonic wave is the phase constant or phase angle. The oscillation of a string element is represented by the sine function and the time dependent phase of a wave and the amplitude of the wave determines the extremities of the elements displaced. Look at this sinusoidal wave here. And this the uh, zero position, this x-axis. This y axis represents the amplitude of the highest point from the base, and here at the highest point, Vy equals 0, Ay, Ay equal to Ay maximum, acceleration is minus omega squared A. And at this position, Ay acceleration is 0, y, that is V velocity maximum is minus omega A. Like it, it repeats. Here, the particular point from starting point to this end point is the length, horizontal length is the lambda, that is complete length of one wave, horizontal length of the one wave. Now, the displacement of the progressive wave is represented by a o equal to a sine omega t minus kx, where x is the, you know that x is a distance and t is the time. In that, look at here, now, further, it can be expressed in terms of sine and cos together is here. Progressive waves. A wave that travels from one point of the medium to another is called a progressive wave. A progressive wave may be transverse or longitudinal. Now, next is plan progressive harmonic wave. If during the propagation of a wave through a medium, the particles of the medium vibrate simply harmonically about their mean position, then the wave is said to be plain progressive harmonic wave.
displacement relation of the progressive harmonic waves. The displacement in a sinusoidal wave propagation in the positive x direction is given by y of x t equal a sine of kx minus omega t plus phi. Here the y of x t is a displacement, a is the amplitude and sine of kx minus omega t plus phi, this relation kx minus omega t plus phi is phase in that that k is angular omega number, um, angular wave number, omega t equal to angular frequency and phi equal to initial phase angle. Altogether forms a sinusoidal wave. Where a is the amplitude of the wave, k is the angular wave number, omega is the angular frequency, then kx minus omega t plus phi is the phase and omega is the phase constant or phase angle altogether forms this relation. The sine function and the time displacement phase of your wave corresponds to the oscillating of your string elements and the amplitude of the wave determines the extremes of the elements displacement. The constant phi is called the initial phase angle. Now we will discuss about wavelength. The wavelength lambda of a progressive wave is the distance between two consecutive points of the same phase at a given time. This is a lambda is a wavelength that means distance between here wavelength is of course distance Progressive wave is the distance between the two consecutive points of the same phase at a given time. That is the distance between in a stationary wave, it is twice the distance between two consecutive nodes or anti nodes. That means the same distance between two nodes or two consecutive anti nodes it comes like now in a stationary wave it is twice the distance between the two consecutive nodes or anti nodes where k is called k is called the propagation constant or the angular wave number k is angular wave number the SI units of the wavelength is per meter, radian per meter. The say units of the wave number is radian per meter. Period and frequency. Time period. The period of a oscillation of a wave is defined as the time that any element of the medium take to move through one complete oscillation. Time taken to complete one oscillation is called uh, period. It's related to the angular frequency omega through the relation. Look at here, time period t equal to 2 pi by omega. That is the time period. Where omega equal 2 pi by t, that angular frequency. The relation is important here. t equal to 2 pi by omega and omega equal to 2 pi by t. The frequency V of a wave is defined as 1 over T, that is per time period and is related to angular frequency by V equal to 1 by T, that is omega by 2 pi. Velocity is omega by 2 pi. It is the number of oscillations per unit time made by string elements as the wave passes through it. It is usually measured in heads. Velocity is here heads. That also you can say it's a frequency. One by time equal to frequency, its unit is heads. Now we will discuss further about phase, amplitude and frequency. Look at this example of this wave for voltage wave against time. So this is a sinusoidal wave here that uh, here this 0, this uh, 90 degree this 180 degrees like 
270, 360 on complete wave have degrees moving like. Here, time period equal to 1 by frequency, where t equal to period, t f equal to frequency a is amplitude. Phase in the above diagram is 0 degree since a sine wave at 0 degrees has the value of 0, which is the case in the above diagram. Yeah, phase equal to 0 here. If the phase had been 90 degrees, the wave would be shifted in such a manner so that its value of the wave is wave at 0 degrees could have been equal to its amplitude. That means this is the amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum distance. Maximum distance the wave travels from its mean position. As shown in the figure. This is the amplitude. Frequency, on the other hand, is equal to the reciprocal of the time period. In other words, it equals the number of waves that passes a given point per second. That means what? How many waves pass through a particular point is called a frequency. So far, we discussed about discussed about here displacement relation for a progressive harmonic wave. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.